The gun shop show, the gun shop show. What is it? We don't know. The gun shop show, the gun shop show. Here we go, it's the gun shop show. Welcome to the gun shop show, your friends in the gun business, brought to you by the wonderful, the always Liberty Tree Guns. We're live from a real life gun store. Adjacent to a real life gun store, we're, we connecting. we're connecting. We're connected. We're close connected. enough that I can walk right next door, see some Better guns. Make sure you're connected. Some guns behind me. These mm-hmm. guns are all came from Liberty Tree Guns. All of these beautiful things right here. Yeah. Well, what about those other guns that you're flashing there, man? I mean, what about those guns? Bomb. Yeah. Where those come from? Oh, uh, wow, that's way more than I imagined. Yeah, I, pretty impressive. It's not a twenty-two anymore. It's no. it's a, it's a twenty-two You've upgraded twenty-two mag, twenty-two <laughs> LR. Getting bigger. Went from a twenty-two short to a twenty-two LR. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> not much of an increase, but uh, <laughs> I'm your host, Logan Jones. Yeah, and that you is. Other, we have something like that. The other beautiful voice you're hearing is our resident fill-in gun bunny. Oh, and that is fill-in <laughs> until I get back to my. Oh, spot right. oh yeah, yeah. You're, you're uh, and that is spot. Trevor Smith. That's me, folks. Hey everybody how you doing i'm wearing my sunglasses or no, i'm wearing my sunglasses right now and here we're cutting right back to your host his name is mm. there he is right there that's him that's the host Logan. you just don't see hair like that on many people is all i'm saying i'll tell you what man that widow's peak really highlights that that quaff you got going on that's whatever true that thing's called that is true i don't know quaff i don't know man it's a it's a know. hair term you got to be in the hair biz to know the hair I'm, terms i was in the hair biz but i got out yeah <laughs> too hairy well i'm getting out of the hair biz too <laughs> mostly just right in the front you know oh. see where this logo is yeah. that's basically where my bald spots snap maybe in, it's yeah. because you're wearing hats oh uh, no i uh i only i started wearing the hat because i didn't want my thinning hair to show you know so. i i realized that i'm mm-hmm. always introducing you but i'm never asking you how you are Trevor, how you doing? Uh, I'm getting real sick of you not asking me how I'm doing is how I'm doing. Oh, that's, oh, that's why I'm asking. Okay. But kinda... things are turning around now, so we're on the upside. We're yeah. coming up on the upside. I got a lot of yeah, reflection on my glasses right now. Yeah, you yeah. do. Hopefully we can't see anything in your screen that we shouldn't Here, do. This is better. How about I just turn my head like this? That does look good. But I want to tell you all you guys about a giveaway we're doing. Oh, we're this, doing a giveaway This again? week's episode. Yes, we are. Oh, wow. We're giving away one of these. Oh, let me flip it around in my hand. You know what we should Bam. give away? You know what we should give away, though? You know what that is? That's a business card? Boom. A gift card. Two Liberty Tree gift cards. That's Ooh. what we're giving away this Ooh, week. Gift cards. Two uh, $50 uh, Liberty uh. Tree gift cards, and all you have to do is share the feed and tag five friends. We are also giving what away else? a Gunspot t-shirt. That's right. A Gunspot mm-hmm. t-shirt. And we're, there's good purpose for that. We're going to have Machine Gun Mike on mm-hmm. later in the episode. He's going to join us. He's going to bring some machine guns. He's going to talk machine guns. He's, He's going to come in. laugh machine guns. He's going to love mm-hmm. machine guns, okay? Every time he opens his mouth, all you hear is... Mm-hmm. That's Machine Gun Mike. That's, That's how true. fast you talk. That's Actually... True. Uh, when I first met you, uh, yep. you were Machine Gun Logan when you talked. I was. Mm-hmm. Yes. If anybody here knows who the Micro Machines guy is, don't know who that. This is. is his. This is his illegitimate <laughs> child right here. I taught him everything he did. <laughs> right. You taught Machine <laughs> or uh, sorry, yeah. Micro Machine Gun Mike. Mm-hmm. That's what we should call it, Micro Machine Gun Mike. Yeah. Because he sells Micro Machine Guns. They're real. They're full size. Sure, whatever. Guns. Sure, whatever. Sorry, I'm gonna end. But he's gonna be here. He's up. gonna bring machine guns. We're gonna talk machine guns. He has mm-hmm. some pretty cool guns he's bringing. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna want to stay tuned for the hits. Ad. We're also going to announce the winner of last week's giveaway. We need yeah. to make sure we do that mm-hmm. because we somehow always forget. That's right, Logan. Mm-hmm. And if you could go ahead and get your <laughs> together, I'll make sure I get my it. together yeah. this time. Okay. And it, if you're listening or listening on the radio or watching live on YouTube or Facebook, you're going to notice that we don't have our third. We our third wheel. Our, third our wheel. Alan. Mm. Our Mr. Snow. He's off. Uh, he melted. He did. He was a real it snowman. Got too, it got too hot. And he melted. Yep. Mm. And so we have him currently in the fr- in the freezer in a bucket like this big. Yeah. We're hoping that some ha- something happens. Well, the plan but. is to put him into a snow cone maker and make him a real man again. A real boy again. One of these days. One of these days. But no, he he actually took some time off. He'll be back. He should be back with us next week. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what we're going to talk about next week. I don't know either, but you know what? Mm. I just remembered what it was that made Alan melt. What was it? Oh, snap. Hot Logan. You need to take it easy. Ugly Logan. You need to take it easy on people, Logan. All right. 
Okay, I'll do my best. Mm-hmm. But this is the Gun Shop Show where we talk nothing about <laughs> guns every week. Uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. The gun gun needs to be put in quotes mm-hmm. on the logo. It needs to be well, the Gun Shop. Let's show. do a little bit, a little bit of talking about guns. What uh, do you want to talk about I, guns wise? Behind me, if you want to switch it over to me. We have well, some, yeah, I do. We have some pretty cool guns that I wanted to showcase. Oh, if showcase! I, if I will them, showcase uh, them. Showcase this, that Q showcase. The, well, no, it's the it's the new Ooh, Sig uh, actually. Oh, okay, that one. Uh, oh, I see it there. The one in the upper, the mid left there. There, yeah, it kind of looked like the Q. The one that looks like the Q, it does but not, not look the like Q. The Q at all. If you know what Q, you would know this is not Q. It looks like Q to me. So this is the new M, the Sig M four hundred something oh it's not the tread huh it's the sig m400 switchblade that's what it oh is. okay now switchblade you're gonna throw a switchblade on there something better be switching and blading what's <laughs> what's doing it okay so the the really cool feature of this gun and we're currently sold out but we're getting more in for sure i ordered a bunch of these because they're awesome mm-hmm. the really cool feature for all you lefties out there is that if you look here oh, lefty i'm gonna get that up on the camera yeah, get right that here. all up on the camera that you got is that an ambi there. bolt release uh, what? okay what? so we pull this back here close it so if you're listening on the radio i have a sig m400 oh. switchblade in my hands it's an ar pistol mm-hmm. has about 11 and a half inch barrel typically with ars you have the bolt release on the left but this one has both it has the bolt release on the left traditional right here the traditional <laughs> bolt release and then you've got that and then uh, new the age new age right here new hotness bolt mm-hmm. release right there so pretty much you raise your finger up over the trigger guard mm-hmm. right under the uh, dust cover or to adjacent to the dust cover. Yeah. Click it like this. Boom. Bolt slams home. Now all those evil lefties out there can fire their uh, AR-15s without any issues. Exactly. And if you're a left-handed full person. Am- full ambi controls. It's, I it's believe pretty you're good fantastic. Mm-hmm. They're great rifles, and they go for about 1400 Oh, wow. So uh, 10% down on that on the Freedom Buyers Club. What are we talking about? I can't do math right now. We're talking about 140 140 bucks. Let me put it down. Yeah. Well, uh, what else you got up there, Q-Man? Master of the Q. You Q to T pie. <laughs> well, since we're talking about machine guns today, uh-huh, yeah. which I don't know if you guys know this, but you can legally own a machine gun. It just takes some additional paperwork. Mm-hmm. Uh, l- let me put it this way. If you can pass a 4473 to buy a okay. handgun, okay. Mm-hmm. shotgun, yep. or rifle, mm-hmm. you can own a fully automatic machine gun. Yeah, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's all the mm-hmm. same, basically the same footwork of buying a suppressor. Or, or short barreled rifle, which mm-hmm. we have both of back here. I'll yeah. show you real quick. What are you showing them real quick? Short barreled rifle? Yes, sir. Short barreled rifle, I don't care. Here is a great example of a short barreled rifle. I kind of need to that is back up a little bit. One. Back up. So, this is the Honey Badger mm. SD, and that mm. SD stands for suppressed. Oh. So, this has a suppressor on the end, which, if you're if you were going to buy this, requires a tax stamp with your Form 4. That's a double whammy in there. Exactly. That's the issue. So suppressor, $200 tax stamp. Short-barreled rifle because the barrel is only seven inches. Barrel ends about mm-hmm. here. Got stuck. Doesn't have a brace. Stuck yeah. right there. So that's a double whammy. That that requires two tax stamps. Yeah. And so... One for the short-barreled rifle and one for the suppressor. Q is, uh, if you buy that gun, they'll pay for both of those tax stamps then, right? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> <laughs> they so, will because I said it. So my point being, the, the, other other than the, this being an absolutely beautiful rifle, mm-hmm. is that that requires a Form 4. Right. Same exact form you would use if you're buying a machine gun. Mm-hmm. It's the same form, which you can pass if you can b- fill out a 4473 and get approved. Right. So if you can buy any firearm and be approved, you can buy a machine gun. The only difference being a l- little longer wait time and you got the price of a machine gun. Yeah. And well, I'll tell you what. I mean, I don't I can't speak to the Q mm-hmm. stuff, but those machine guns, great investment opportunities. And the reason they're great investment opportunities is because they're so rare. You have only about 180 thousand mm-hmm. in circulation uh, mm-hmm. or register with the ATF. Those are the only ones you can legally purchase. Right. If you have a machine gun that's not on the registry, according to the, to the ATF, it needs destroyed. Yeah, they're real bummers on that mm-hmm. whole ordeal, folks. They're just like, oh, Which, wait, this came from World War II. It, kinda, it was in the it hands kinda of breaks Hitler? my heart because care. so many of the machine guns have so much history I know, man. to them. I, They've I, seen combat. Bro, my mind, They've dude. seen blood, sweat, tears, all of it. Right. And we just have to go, just, just saw that, saw it, right saw that in half, mm-hmm. okay, and then trash, trash. 
Yep. It just breaks my heart. Cut it in half just like a sandwich, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speaking of sandwiches, Machine Gun Mike's coming on the show. No, we're not doing this again. (laughs) Why? What do you mean again? I feel like you always bring up sandwiches. I like sandwiches. Okay, I'm just trying to talk about guns. Then let's talk sushi. Super cool. Honey Badger SD here. Mm-hmm. Super. Look at look how attractive this gun is. Look, you're, and if you're like you're like, what color is that Cerakoted? It's not Cerakoted. So it's, it's, just, it's just clear coat. Clear coat anodized. Okay, so what mm-hmm. they do is they just apply clear coat to this. This is the just the color the aluminum brings out. Just makes that goldish color and that gray color. Pretty cool, man. Super cool. I mean. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah. What's behind you? I don't know what is behind over me. over your left shoulder. Uh, is there somebody back here? Is that our flagship sponsor? What you are you flagship? talking about? You talking about these guys? I'm talking about those guys right there. Oh yep. Yeah. <laughs> there those, you go. Those guys. U.S. Law Shield. Are you a member? Because I'm a member. I am a member. Really? Yeah. I'm a member. Awesome. You, did you not I, believe me when I said I was a no, member? No, I did. I did. Well, they have awesome stuff. Dave. They really do, and I feel like everyone should be a member because they're a fantastic legal defense for your self defense. Yeah, it's not insurance, folks. No, it's not insurance, and that what that's what makes it so great. So if it, as long as you're not committing a heinous act or anything like that, and you have to defend your life, it doesn't have to be with firearms. It can be just with fisticuffs or something. Mm-hmm. They'll help you out. You get a card with your, uh, an on call attorney's number. You can call any time. Well, you actually have two numbers. One, you can call anytime for information. The second one is going to be a red one. That's what you call after you've been in one of these altercations. Mm-hmm. And, and they will, they will take uh, care of absolutely everything. They're a wonderful company. And right now, we're running a promo code where if you go to uslawshield.com, click join now, use promo code LIBERTYTREE, you get 14 months for the price of 12 months. We'll be right back. Stay with us. This is The Gun Shop Show. Four easy steps to buying a gun. Step one, go to Liberty Tree Guns. Find your perfect gun from our wide selection of new and used firearms. Step two, call your significant other. Gain approval of your purchase. Step three, realize that you are a strong, confident individual. No one tells you what to do. Step four, check out, pay it all now, or 10% down with 90 days to pay using our Freedom Buyers Club. Buy and sell used and new guns, ammo and more. Liberty Tree Guns, across from Lowe's and Carthage, or visit us online at libertytreeguns.com. Our member is involved in a brief road rage incident. One driver cuts off another in traffic and harsh words and gestures soon follow. After the pleasantries are exchanged, our driver goes on his way assuming the incident is over. However, still agitated, the other driver calls 911 and reports our member as aggressive, possibly having seen a weapon in his hand. In reality, what he saw was our member flipping him the bird. In an incident that can only be described as an overreaction by officers, our member is pulled over. When officers learn that he carries a legal concealed firearm, they arrest him despite a lack of evidence. This incident is just one of numerous member experiences. Be aware when traveling with a firearm. Any aggressive actions made by you, right or wrong, can land you in jail. Don't let it happen to you. Welcome back to the Gun Shop Show. Mm-hmm. As a reminder, if you want to get entered in to win one of the two $50 two. gift cards, all you have to do is share the feed and tag five friends. That's a, It's that simple. It doesn't get any easier to make 50 bucks. No. Mm-hmm. That's free money right in your pocket for yeah, the tree guns. What's minimum wage right now? Like seven sixty or something no, like no. that? No, it got, it got bumped up to like 11 Oh. Well, I still, think, still an hour for $11 when you can just click a couple of buttons and 50 bucks in your pocket. It's pretty easy. Yeah. If we did the math, it would be like $5,000 or something <laughs> an hour. Yeah. Something, something like ridiculous. that. I did some math last time and I think it was like $1,200 an hour, but we, di- we digress. Anyway. Anyway. 
We are joined today by someone we've had on before. He's always been a fantastic guest. We figured we might as well have him back. He's an oldie but a goodie. And talk some machine guns. <laughs> and that is Machine Gun Mike. He is the yeah. operations manager of Midwest Tactical. Mike, how are we doing today? What's up, fellas? So Howdy good ho. to see you. You know, not much. First of all, um, minimum wage is over eleven dollars now. Oh, okay, I've got to. I hope a couple of my employees don't find that out. Um, <laughs> or gotta, the state, <laughs> or or the state. So that's that's good. But it's good right. to see you guys. Been a while. Yeah, man. Um, I've had a couple fans, you know, ask got, me yeah. when, when I'm coming back on, and uh-huh. I said, oh, "Yeah, yeah." And I said, "Mom, I'll I'll find right. out." Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I was able to let her know it's going to be happening. T- Today, oh, that's so. exciting, man. Yeah, she yeah. called me yesterday. And that's she was exciting. Like, She's pumped. Are you, you gonna have Mike on? I was like, yeah. we're gonna mm-hmm. have Mike on. <laughs> yeah, and uh, my mom's like, you're on a show. <laughs> yeah, that's what my mom says. So it's good that you've got fans, man. Uh, I'm glad that um, it took a mom guilt trip to get me back on. Um, yeah, well, so, you know, hey, that's what moms are for. Hey, it's good. Yeah, it's good to yeah. see you guys. Mom, you got it. Sounds like you. you too, man. I I feel like there's a it's mathematical a equation to when Mike comes on. You know, like every X amount of episodes, you can count on Mike Winkle coming back. Or it's in the stars. It's like a lunar uh-huh. mm-hmm. thing. And then when the humidity and temperature are just right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah. So it's like a red pH blood levels. <laughs> yeah. Them pH levels. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, but we're well, on the radio, so I can't get too dark radio, here. But That's uh, true. What you been up to? What's you know, the Midwest Tactical doing? You know, we're busy, busy, busy. Um, you know, the Biden era is is in full force, mm-hmm. and that means gun sales are as well, yeah. um, mm-hmm. which is one of the great ironies that whenever the left is running things, gun sales go through the roof. It's, right. They are literally the best gun. It happens every time. Gun mm-hmm. sales. I mean, it's like clockwork. And I remember talking to people when, when Trump was doing his things, and of course, you know, we sell full auto uh, transferable machine guns. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And I love coming on here because people don't know these can be bought by average, everyday citizens. Mm-hmm. They're just super mm-hmm. expensive and super yeah, rare, absolutely, and, and highly collectible. So we love being on the show to let people know that. But you know, when Trump was in power, the prices of these beauties just kind of went down and they kind of settled. Yeah. And I would tell people every day, look, buy now. This mm-hmm. is a buyer's market mm-hmm. because if the left were to get in the power, which you know. Is inevitable. Did not feel likely at the time, but because of, um, uh, you know, things that happened, we'll just say, um, after the election, um, you know, they are in, in, in power and the prices on these beautiful, highly collectible machine guns have gone through the roof. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all the people that I told to buy when Trump was in power and you didn't do it, they're they're, they're wishing they did because, because, you know, it's hard to get, uh, you know, return on investment so quickly, but on these machine guns, if you bought just, just a year ago, Mm -hmm. um, the investment is going up uh, quite a bit. So we're not even a year, we're not even a year into uh, this president's first term and you're already seeing the market become a seller's market. Correct. It is a seller's market. Mm -hmm. If you want to get premium prices for the guns that you have in your possession like these, Mm -hmm. um, now is the time to sell and take advantage of the market for sure. Well, uh, you know, I have a, uh, I don't know. I'd call it a quasi conspiracy here. I mean, it's not like uh, I'm losing sleep over this conspiracy guys, but my conspiracy is, is that the left works with the gun manufacturers to try to drive up prices and sales. That's my conspiracy. Are actually supporters? Uh, I'd say backdoor supporters. Mm. Yeah. Like at least side door. Yeah. At least side door. Mm. Cause I I mean, the correlation (laughs) there is, is imminent. Like, you know, power is going to shift. Prices are going to go up. Sales Mm. are going to go up. It's an inevitable. I mean, I remember when Trump got elected in 2016, people were asking us like, what are you guys going to do? Like, mm-hmm. We're yeah. going to sell guns, yeah. man. Like we're going to keep selling guns yeah. just because a Republican and it's a Republican controlled government doesn't mean that people stop <laughs> well, needing this stuff. For sure. And we, not we definitely did see a dip there while uh, Trump was in office because right, people right. weren't really worried about losing their second amendment rights. Right. So, until a pandemic came along. Until a pandemic came <laughs> yes. along. It kind of ruined <laughs> that changed everything. Yeah. Did you see any increase? I mean, I know that your product is a, a, a uh, mm-hmm. a far reach different than what we're selling here. But uh, did you see a demand go up during the pandemic for not, any not of for your these, pro- not no. for these that it, it did not go up But right. on, on the, your guys's guns, title one stuff on everything, mm-hmm. rifles. Yeah. Um, Big you know, and we, we call it the Trump slump. 
um, mm-hmm, because right. uh, everything just got nice and comfortable, which, mm-hmm. again, the gun industry is hugely predictable. Of course, with the pandemic, we, we couldn't predict that. But right. if, no one could. If a conservative government is in power, the gun industry just kind of kind of gets a little comfortable. And again, yeah. like, like Logan said, your Second Amendment rights are not being threatened uh, aggressively. But man, every time, I mean... We used to, I've, I've said this before, when Obama was in power, we would, we would run auctions on these beautiful guns that we would invest, you know, tens of thousands of dollars in. Mm-hmm. We would run them on auction, on a penny auction, no reserve. And we had no qualms, no worries that it would make yep. money. And it did every single time. Yeah. Um, then when Trump was doing yeah. it, you know, we couldn't do it'd be, that. It was right. scary. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We can't sell this for a penny. Yeah. S- selling right. a firearm like that for, you know, a couple of bucks. Right. Exactly. Well, we keep referencing what that is here. I'll show, throw it up on the screen here. Uh, this particular one that uh, we're that Mike keeps referring to mm. or pointing to is, uh, I'm not sure what that is, Mike. But It's a beautiful, beautiful gun. It's, it's a what beautiful it is. gun. Mm-hmm. That That is uh, by the makers of, of Heckler and Coke, which H&K, which of course they make a lot of title one, you know, mm-hmm. rifles and, and handguns. I have an H and K USP. Yeah. Uh, nine millimeter is my, yeah. my concealed carry my, my baby. Oh really? But they also make full auto, you know, machine guns. This German company has been around for years mm-hmm. and, and they made a G three rifle, which was a seven, six, two rifle, um, that, uh, got converted to what's called the HK 21, which is a belt fed, uh, machine gun. Okay. And um, those are worth a lot of money. They're um, usually converted here in the States. So somebody pre-1986 converted it to full auto. And this particular one is actually an HK-23, which means that it was taken from the 7.62 configuration to a 5.56 which mm. is a lot more affordable to shoot, a lot uh, uh, you know, lighter, and things like that. So this was done by a guy named Terry Dyer. And in the United States, Terry Dyer is the master gunsmith of all things HK-related. There's mm-hmm. Ralph Smith at, at Red Dog Target Supplies is a great one as well. Um, so we get to work with these guys. And uh, Terry did this gun, which and with Terry's name on an HK gun, uh, the price goes up. It's it's just it, it's like being worked on by a master craftsman. Mm-hmm. So these HK, uh, you know, twenty one slash twenty threes are just so much fun to shoot. They've got cool things. Um, they've got a quick change barrel in here, so the barrels get hot. Mm-hmm. You'd have to take a break, but instead of that, you can just change it out real quick. It's okay. got some really cool features. Okay, well, we're coming up on a break. Uh, We'll show off some of those features. For sure. Stay with us. We're going to be right back. This is The Gun Shop Show. Hey, podcast listeners and live stream viewers. I wanted to let you know that The Gun Shop Show is made possible by our friends at MidAmerica RV. Being in the customer service industry, I have a really high standard for how customers are treated. MidAmerica RV does it right. I've got my RV through their dealership and I've taken it all over the country. Uh, we made it to South Padre Island. We've gone to Colorado several times. And if you've ever owned an RV, you know there's a lot that comes with it. So who you get it from matters and it's extremely important that you have support after the sale Uh, they're located just outside of Carthage they have a really vast inventory and they are home of I believe they call it a forever warranty so I urge you if you're in the market for one to check them out Uh, it's a really fun and can be very affordable way to get your trips in so visit them at midamericarv.com we appreciate their support of the gun shop show if you're in the market for a travel trailer or fifth wheel check out midamerica rv Game wardens have seen it all. Learn from them. How in the world does a dog shoot a man when proper safety is completely ignored? For example, a Texas hunter was shot and killed by his own dog. With the safety off, the dog stepped on his loaded shotgun in the bed of his pickup truck. Somehow, his paw got in the trigger guard and discharged the shotgun. Tragically, the 46-year-old math teacher was struck in the thigh and died. A hunter in Minnesota was shot in the leg when his dog jumped aboard his boat. 
and a bulldog in Florida shot his owner while they were driving to a hunting spot. Believe it or not, these astonishing cases are all true and game wardens have seen it all. Hunters and anglers, that is why we are so pleased to announce our brand new series of exciting events featuring retired game wardens and experienced lawyers who hunt, whose sole purpose is to keep you safe on the hunt or on the water and on the right side of the law. Each event is designed to give hunters and anglers the essential law that they need to stay out of trouble plus provide the opportunity for real questions and answers from these highly trained professionals in a fun and interactive manner. If you hunt, fish, or love someone that does, you owe it to yourself to attend. Best of all, it's sponsored by your friends at Texas Law Shield, so you know it will be great. As always, stay armed, stay educated, and register for a Sportsman Law Seminar today. Hey everybody, Eli here, and I'm really excited to tell you that the Gun Shop Show is brought to you by one of my favorite places on earth. Located here in my hometown of Carthage on the beautiful historic square, the Emporium on the Square, and the Woodshed. It's a art gallery, an event center, a gift shop, they have art classes, and there's very unique Americana artwork from famous artists like Andy Thomas. They handle a lot of his original framing. Just has this incredible old school vibe, and you can feel the history coming through have to check out the art gallery but then as you work your way to the back my favorite part the woodshed had a lot of great meals in here they've got burgers i love their catfish excellent chicken and waffles even it's incredible and it's also a music venue so we got to see my favorite band of all time the ben miller band the ceiling was literally raining down they were rocking so hard but the best thing owned by one of my favorite people on earth that's cherry babcock check out the emporium on the square and the woodshed if I wasn't watching the gun shop show, I wouldn't be as cool as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the gun shop show. If you want to get entered in for a chance to win one of two $50 Liberty Whoa. Tree gift cards, all you have to do is share the feed. And Trevor? Uh, tag five of your bestest friends. That's correct. Super yep. simple. Yeah, I can't say anything straight, man. So unless... What do you, you mean? It, well, if you ask me to say something, I'm going to say it like a goober. Oh, mm -hmm. leaning into the goober. That's why I asked you because I knew you'd do that. It's, it's in my DNA. I come from a long mm -hmm. line of goobers. Mike? Yo. Weird. Anyone ever call you one in the winkle? Uh, no, okay. but I, I love how you said goobers and then you said Mike. <laughs> you know, I know. I know. Well, I, it, that's where I thought was he was the going next with logical it, but no, step. A little bit. I said with all due respect. Right. You well, know, I said <laughs> I can say anything I want after that. Exactly. That's, that's how that works, man. Exactly. It's so not true. <laughs> it's not true. Or like when people are like, um, no offense. Yeah. And they proceed to offend you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mine is usually, I don't want to be a mean person, but. Prepare for yeah, some quasi yeah. mean stuff. Like mm -hmm. honesty. I can't stand you. No offense. Right. <laughs> right. You, you make no my offense. skin crawl. No offense. Yeah. No offense, but you make my skin crawl. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. <laughs> so hey, uh discovery during the break. I thought there was a correlation between Heckler and Coke and the Coke brothers. Turns out no correlation. No. So no. Uh, we'll put that to bed right now in segment three at the top. They were actually Pepsi lovers. Mm -hmm. too. Ironically. Yeah. Ironically. Just, yeah. just so strange. They, their yeah. traditional spelling of their name was C-O-K-E. Coke is so much better. But then they were like, Pepsi's better, so they changed the they spelling. They changed it. Yeah. It changed everything. A little, little unknown story about the Coke brothers. <laughs> For sure. Uh, but hey, you were telling us about that little gem sitting that, in front of that you. That particular machine gun. That yeah, some sure. folks might like to see this angle of. Ooh. Oh, that's weird. Oh, is that me? Oh, hey. Yeah. Hey, girl. Nothing so. improves a machine gun like Logan in the background. You know, and, and listen, one of the things that, that I love being on your show for, and we talk about this all the time, is just, you know, educating people that, mm -hmm. that you can own a machine gun. Absolutely. You can own one. If you can mm -hmm. qualify, if you can come in the Liberty Tree and do your 4473 and get to take home a handgun or a rifle, you can own a transferable machine gun. Mm -hmm. The paperwork mm -hmm. takes longer. Right. But um, again, I, I've told you, I've been in stores and people see my Midwest Tactical logo mm -hmm. and they ask me what I do and I say, well, I sell machine guns mm -hmm. to, to the military to no to regular people just joe's and, yep. and i love it when they go oh that's illegal 
you can't do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Thanks for letting me <laughs> You're know. like, what? And then I go home and You're I like, update my anymore. resume. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can. These are just very expensive because right. there's only about, mm-hmm. uh, you know, a year ago, there's probably 185,000 of these yep. in the registry with the ATF. Now there's fewer. So they get the, the total number mm-hmm. shrinks every year. So they're highly collectible, highly, um, you know, rare items. And you can own one of these if you can afford it. This particular gun you're looking at now is is about seventy five thousand dollars. They're not cheap. Uh, let me see what I let me see what I got here, man. Count count your pennies. But uh, I love being on the show because I want people to know that these are super mm-hmm. cool. Um, you know, we've got not only these HK guns, we've got classic Thompsons like you've seen in the gangster movies. We've Absolutely. got um, German guns that have actually seen action in the war that they were mm-hmm. bring back. We've got AK 47s that are amnesty registered, which means that they were brought back from Vietnam or, or overseas in different conflicts. And we've, we've got those guns. We've got rising M fifties that, um, we're, we're in the war era and, you know, all these really cool, um, different guns that, that people can own and take home, but you've, you know, it's going to be an investment. I've got right. a gun that we're going to bring out in a minute. Uh, and, uh, if you think this one's expensive, wait till you hear what the ones I've got, uh, just under this table, what they would run you if you wanted to own it, but it's super cool. It's fascinating. Mm-hmm. Um, and, but you can own these. And I love the gun shop show because you guys don't just focus on Title I stuff. You focus right. on what's called Class Three machine guns. Mm-hmm. and uh, We just focus on guns. Yeah. yeah period. Yeah. Guns and this is part and of guns. Mm-hmm. And this is part of the gun industry that, that regular citizens can be a part of completely legally. Yeah. And, com- and heavily underserved with regard to uh, awareness. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know? there's, yeah. There's so many people that come into the store. And we'll have like the rising M50, you know, on display. And they're mm-hmm. like, is that a machine gun? And I'm like, yes, it's a machine gun. They're like, "Who? You, why do you have one of those? I'm like, we're selling them, you know? Mm-hmm. And he's like, to, to who? Who's buying these? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, anyone that wants you one. You are. You know? Yeah. And he's like, you can't own a machine gun. I'm like, actually, yes, you can. He's yes. like, but, but you need that special license, license. you know? Yes. Mm-hmm. And it, it happens so often. I'm just like. No, if you can buy any handgun, any long gun in the store and fill out a 4473 and be approved, you can buy a machine gun. Yeah. Exactly. It's just going to cost more money. It's going to take a little bit longer. So, yeah. what, so what you would do is you would do a Form 4 with mm-hmm. the ATF, and you would fill out all the information, which looks very similar to a 4473. It, it, it's the same form you would use to do a suppressor. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's the same form. It's the same amount of wait time. Uh, suppressors are considered Class 3, just like a short barrel shotgun gun, short barrel rifle, and these transfer. It's so weird that guns. they're on the, they're classified as the same thing. It's crazy. Yeah. It's, it doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense, but you would expect that from our government. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, you would fill that out. You would, you would supply a, a two fingerprint cards. You would also supply two passport photos of yourself, and that would be mailed to the ATF, and they would do your background check. It takes about, like you said, like a, about the same amount of time as a suppressor, mm-hmm. eight, eight to 12 months, somewhere in that ballpark, and then you get to take this baby home. Um, so it's completely legal, and people just don't understand, and I don't blame them for not understanding that, but part of the reason I love being here is just, again, education. That's what it's all about. You gotta educate everybody. Knowledge is power. It is. And it's cool. It's awesome. And and so people, you know, just I love that they understand this. And whether they can afford it or not, though you know, being educated with when in the two A community is a huge thing. What's For inc- sure. Yeah. What's incredible to me about this stuff, I oh every time he brings one of these firearms, uh, is the historical relevance of it. Yes. It blows my mind that the government would be like, uh, World War II, and that's not on a chart. You could go ahead and saw that in half. Right. You know, and not keep it at least that's in a, a museum in the Smithsonian or something. Uh, but they just destroy them. So, I mean, now that uh, any of them that you come across, they've all been, uh, what they've been, I, I, I can't quite speak to it. Re- there registered was, with the, there was, uh, uh, what's the form? What's, what's yeah. the situation? Yeah, ATF. they're they're registered. So the Brady Bill in 1986 basically put a stop to any but individual or uh, 
uh, being able to register a, a gun legally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, again, before 1986, you could go into a hardware store and buy an M11 machine gun, a Thompson machine gun. Mm-hmm. But the Brady Bill put a stop to that. And so that's what, again, made these things more uh, expensive and collectible and uh, mm-hmm. right know, because they just don't do them anymore. So now there's a limited number out there. It's, they made them a rarity. Well, yeah, I'll tell you what, rarity. and not a moment too soon to stop all those 20, 20s era gangsters too. Exactly. You know? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And that's where yeah. the transfer tax came into play right. back then in the mm-hmm. 20s. They made it a $200 transfer tax. And back then that was almost insurmountable for most people. It was more than the gun. And so yeah. people were, uh, it really dissuaded people from purchasing a machine gun. Now, the price is still two hundred dollars. The ATF has not increased the price, well, so now it's a don't. drop in the bucket. Well, with shh, what these? Costs. Yeah, if they shh, don't tell them. That. I know, seriously, uh, don't tell them that. Trevor, do you have a calculator? Could you do a cal- calculation of oh, oh, what two hundred dollars? I am the calculator. What two hundred dollars would be today if they increased it? Oh, you mean for, adjust for inflation? Exactly. Two hundred. Because I'm sure if that were the case, then no one's going to be buying any of these. I'm going to yeah. just. I'm going uh, to crunch these numbers in my mind real quick. Uh, Carry the one. Uh, yep. Uh, okay. Move the decimal uh, place uh, to the right. Uh, yep. Uh, and again. Uh, Three thousand nine hundred forty-seven dollars. Nice. Mm-hmm. Ouch. So about four thousand uh, dollars. About fifteen times that amount ish. Sixteen times mm. ish. Yeah. That's pretty. Just imagine going to buy a suppressor for. Yes. Five five hundred bucks to a thousand dollars. Yes, and they're like, on top of that, you have to pay four thousand dollars for your tax stamp. This tax, yeah, it's what it. But that's what it was in the twenties. That's mm-hmm. the way it that, felt when they instituted this this transfer tax. That's that's ridiculous. It, it is, is ridiculous. Uh, it's it's ludicrous to even think that it shouldn't be more. They need to raise it. I'm just kidding, guys. I knew no, that. Please. We only had 30 seconds left. I had to kill that joke real quick. Yeah, go do, ahead and kill it. Do I get paid more for being on the show and doing the filming? Absolutely, the man. Oh, yeah. You're getting paid three times what you normally oh, are right dude, now. You guys are so uh, good to me. Like always, we pay in smooches. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. How do I get out of that? <laughs> uh, you don't. Dang, on, on the Gun Chop the gun Show. show. Land is everything to me. Uh, when I was born, I was brought home to the family farm, uh, was raised, learned work ethic there, learned uh, appreciation and respect for life and the land itself, and it just became second nature. I had to be there all the time. Whenever I wasn't on the land, I was not happy. But I learned to understand the land, learned to respect it, you know, learned family values. You know, my wife and I have bought a farm. Uh, besides the one we live on, and uh, it has just been a, it's been a great investment, and it's been some place that my son and I have shared the passion of hunting together, and you know it's just it uh, you know, land has been you know land has been everything in my life. It has kind of kept me focused and, and uh, gave me a place to be. It's kind of kept me grounded. Hey, you know what makes this The Gun Shop Show possible? It's people who believe in the show. And someone who has believed in the show from the very beginning is my good friend Chris Chapman, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. Here's a message from Chris. Guys, uh, my name's Chris Chapman, uh, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. And I just want to take a few seconds here to let you know that we are going to be uh, proud sponsors of The Gun Shop Show. And uh, we, we appreciate everything that them guys are doing over there. And we just want to show them our support. Thank you. So whether you have two chickens or 2,000 acres, Chris is your man. Give him a call. I guess that's pretty much the ad. Whitehead Farm Supply. Seriously? Always. Hi, I'm Eli Paginson. When I'm not fighting red flag laws, playing games, or writing, I'm listening to The Gun Shop Show. We'll take you rich. We'll take you poor. <laughs> Welcome back to The Gun Shop Show. We're giving away two $50 Liberty Tree gift cards. That's right. All you have to do is share the feed on Facebook and tag five friends. And my friends, you do not have to be vaccinated to enter this. No, farm. no. Okay. But we, 
it, we shouldn't go without saying that for our podcast friends, mm. for our YouTube friends, for our Twitch friends out there, which by the way, bad news guys, Periscope, no longer a thing. If you even uh, knew what that was, but we used to be live there too. But anyway, uh, all of you listeners out there, you don't have to be watching live to share and enter. You can do that mm -hmm. anytime between episodes. Just jump over to Facebook, share the episode, tag five friends, and uh, maybe someday we'll do something a little different so that uh, we can include all of our viewers and listeners, not For just sure. our Facebook friends. For sure. Because everybody's our friend, right, Mike? Everybody. Mm -hmm. And they need to be. I yeah. Mean, Liberty Tree. Yeah, because if you're not, you guys are we the want bomb. you to be. That's right. Sometimes. Where are you your friends awesome. in the gun business? So we're talking about machine guns. We're okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that got me thinking. If you're into firearms, if you're mm -hmm. into guns, yeah. what what's the pinnacle of firearms? Uh, I think that's machine guns. I would say pulling the trigger once until the magazine's emptied is the pinnacle. Yeah, I exactly. think machine guns are the pinnacle yeah. of firearms. I think everyone should own a machine gun if they can. Ironically, uh, human uh, nature is going more towards autom automation guns less towards it's weird mm -hmm. how that works right mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah they don't want the bullets coming i mean out even our cars them. now i mean in a few years will be completely automated mm -hmm. but not your guns that's scary <laughs> <laughs> right well let's look at some features on this uh this particular machine gun For and sure. mike while we're switching over uh can you do you know what defines a machine gun that's a great question well and it's exactly what you said it's it's with one you know, pull of the trigger, mm -hmm. the the uh, bolt will just go until you release it. And yeah. that's basically the difference with, yeah. where as opposed to one bullet, you know, per trigger squeeze. So that's right. basically the definition of a machine gun. And that's kind of where bump stocks and the difficulty with that comes in the play because you're still you know, pressing the trigger once per bullet. Right. But the bump stock just makes your finger faster on that. So the designation of that, there's a fine line there. And, and that's what, you know, the right. difficulty is with, with technology like mm -hmm. that. And there's binary triggers with, with, you know, which the bullet goes when you press the, the trigger and when you release it, it mm -hmm. fires it again. So, um, again, that's two for, you know, the price of one kind of right. a technology. Right, right. What do you do with those things? The government really struggles with mm -hmm. that. Well, let's point out some sweet features on this machine gun here. So the cool thing about these, obviously, um, you know how hot barrels can get, especially in the machine gun world. Uh -huh. uh, barrels can get way too hot to where they warp. They, mm -hmm. they don't function good. So the thing I love about this HK-21 is it's got a quick release barrel. And if, if you were firing these in a military uh, setting, which is what they're built for and designed for, um, it would be hard to you know, lay down suppression fire for long durations of time with one barrel. So what they do is they make this a quick change. And if you can see, it's got this little button on the bottom. You can touch this part because it's not hot. It's, it's connected to the barrel, right? But you could depress that, pull that up, yank that out and then take the barrel out, put the new one in. And then you grab another one, put it in like that. And you're firing again, just that easy. That is super cool technology Heck yeah. by H and K. And how, how how many rounds or how long would you say it would be before one of those barrels would need to be swapped out? You know, you know, a typical belt for these will be either a hundred or two hundred rounds. That's okay. what makes these belt feds so cool. Mm -hmm. That's why the military loves them for again suppression fire. They're going to lay down. You don't have to have a twenty to thirty round magazine. You got to switch out every time. This will do a hundred bullets per belt or two hundred. But, you know, it's it's hard to, to you know, uh, guess what that would be. But I would say you could, you could probably put through uh, a few belts before I think it would be too hot to, to be confident that you can run more bullets through. Right. Do you so, know what the what the typical amount of barrels would uh, be on standby for something like that? Um, I, I think they would have quite a few. Again, this is something that... Um, you know, all of the uh, belt-fed military guns have gone th gone to is the quick change barrel mm -hmm. um, 
application because because of that problem. It's just right. been a problem, and the military is always looking for advantages and ways to improve, you know, how they fought and how mm-hmm. they how they go in the battle. And this is one of the things that you're going to see mm-hmm. as standard: a quick change barrel system on these belt fed guns because you're you're able to put multiple rounds through it. They're right. lightweight. They're compact. This one isn't as compact as we'll see that the United States government has gone to, but I've got one under the table that'll kind of address those changes. What kind of mm-hmm. conflict would you say that particular firearm might have seen? Um, this particular one, I would say it hasn't seen any because so so this particular one, even though this is the gun that is used on on the in the foreign theater, uh, you know, and whatever guns HK would or, or countries HK would have sold to, again, this one particular one came over as a G three semi automatic rifle that shot seven six two rounds. Uh, the Fleming company or ballistics or hard times armory. These are different companies that would take that G three convert it into this belt fed application, which would then call it an HK 21. Mm-hmm. And then they registered it. They put a full auto uh, sear inside this uh, trigger housing and then it would would fire full auto they'd put the bolt in there the full auto bolt which is you know going to be heavier and thicker to withstand the the repetition that it does Mm -hmm. and then it it was registered prior to 1986 as an HK 21 762 um, machine gun but again 762 rounds are heavier so at some point um, Terry Dyer got his hands on this and converted it to an HK-23, which, again, makes it a 5.56 five, mm-hmm. uh, belt-fed gun. Um, obviously, more affordable, lighter weight, uh, and all those kind of things. And so that's how this did. So this this would not have seen any action, but okay. this is highly collectible. and be- I mean, it's beautiful. It's got a four-position mm-hmm. um, selector on it, so it'll shoot. You know, it's safe, semi um, then it's got full auto, but then it's got a three round burst feature on it. Ooh. So this is like got all the bells and whistles yeah. on it. Super cool gun. Yeah. It and it's in like our possession as you're seeing it here. Yeah, so it's awesome. So it would e file to uh, an FFL SOT out there. SOT stands for special occupational tax. So those are the guys that mm-hmm. can transfer a lot of class three stuff. And this would, this would transfer within a week. So that makes it really quick. When you're doing a dealer-to-dealer transfer, Oh yeah, it's, it's just about a week's time. So this would go, you could buy this with Midwest Tactical, and we could have it to your dealer for you to start your Form 4 and your paperwork within a week or so. That's a pretty brief amount of time. I mean, Super it cool. Honestly, should be virtually instantaneous, but yeah, uh, right. given the nature of uh, the state of play, exactly. I mean, we got to wait. Just look at the wait times on Form 4s being like what six to nine months at it, least come on it's ridiculous I, yeah yeah i we we had uh we got two back recently they were about eight months wow mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah Which that's is, not a good average well, no it, it's really not it's pretty standard though that's what yeah. it's been you know mm-hmm. ever since uh you know prior to obama it's been about that that time frame right. and we've seen even longer so they're all it takes is yeah. some kind of a, a national um incident and it'll slow right down because yeah. the, the you know FBI will not allocate resources to these transfers as a priority when things like that are going on. Mm-hmm. So so it just slows I up mean, the process. I mean, it still feels like it shouldn't take that long. It's no, just it should work. You know? Oh, it shouldn't. It's it's really easy, and it's like it's purposefully slow. Yeah, um, that it's part of what they want to do and what they want guaranteed, to see. guaranteed, purposefully slow. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it'd be great in the next uh, Republican uh, controlled you know, when they control all the branches, if mm-hmm. they would uh, go ahead and dial that stuff back a notch, that'd be okay. <laughs> uh, right. Maybe, yeah. you know, we can only hope and pray at this point. Um, but Mike, uh, I'm a little surprised. It seemed like the price on that particular one, even though, I mean, the details that you've told me about it make me believe that it's probably more valuable than something that might have actually seen action in, uh, let's say, World War II. Would you say that's right? You know, I would say that's right. Um, You know, you don't see a lot of HK guns come over here that are made by HK full auto. They're Mm -hmm. usually converted on some level by somebody 
in the States. If yeah. you get a gun that, that came over to the States from HK that was made in the HK factory mm-hmm. as a full auto, it's extremely rare and would be really, really high, high dollar. And again, HK doesn't really... Um, you know, overly make these, these mm-hmm. they make the 21s for, for the, their foreign um, connections that they sell to in the military. Mm-hmm. But in America, we kind of had to configure these prior to 1986 on our own. So it's, it's kind of cool. There's so many yeah. guys that love the HK application is probably the best and most fun and most, um, you know, uh, it's just incredible what they can do with these guns. You could buy one full auto sear mm-hmm. and you could, take it and put it in this gun you could put it in the nine millimeter the 10 millimeter oh, wow. 40 millimeter um five five six seven six two and and with one of those you can convert all these semi-auto hosts to full auto so it's really really cool what you can so do with hk stuff mm-hmm. it, it, now, am I understanding correctly to say you're saying the sear that goes in that Heckler and Coke there? That is the machine gun. Most of yes. the Heckler and Coke firearms will accept that sear and become full auto when you use it? All of them will with with mm. minimal Ooh. changes and, and things like that. You just need to I get like. a certain ejector nice. uh, extractor to put mm-hmm. in and stuff like that. Um, this one stays in the gun, though, because the, the registered receiver right. is the registered right. part. But if you have a registered drop-in auto sear that's mm-hmm. an HK one, you can literally take that and move it because like Logan said, that is what is considered the machine gun. Nice. Yeah. Part. Well, Trevi like modularity. Yes. Mm-hmm. Big yes. fan of that. <laughs> Very cool. The HK stuff. So cool. Um, For sure. I can see the appeal. Okay. Well, well, this is the last segment on TV. So if you're watching on TV, go over to Facebook, search Liberty Tree Guns. You'll see us there. We'll be right back with more machine gun talk on Gun Shop gun Show. Shop show. <laughs> People are always asking me, Eli, you seem to get the best deals on things. What is your secret? Old really- glory actions and estate sales. Trevor, I appreciate you jingling, but I have to say the ad part first um, uh-huh. because people need to know oh. about the company. Oh, I thought you wanted me to do And that. then also, it's okay. the whole, it's covering up my yeah. face. So right. Again, um, just, okay, just get together. a picture like from their okay. Facebook page because yeah, that's the best I got one here place and then just put it right up here where the gun shop show logo okay. is okay yeah. all right i'll do better this and time. then uh and so let me finish the ad and then you can jingle okay okay all right so uh the best place to go is their facebook page oh glory actions and estate sales you know what fine i'll just move in between the graphics and finish telling people that the best place to find out when oh old glory gl- actions and estate sales I think I got it that time, man. Our member's girlfriend is on her way to pick up her kids from her ex-husband's house. She asked our member to tag along because of her ex's temper. As they arrive at the home, her ex emerges yelling and gesturing. He approaches his ex-wife and grabs her, attempting to drag her inside. Fearing for her life, our member, a trained CHL holder, jumps out of the car with his gun drawn and demands the ex-husband release her. Seeing the gun, the assailant retreats. The situation then takes a bizarre turn as the assailant dials 911 to report our member. As a result of the aggressor's lies, our member was wrongfully arrested. Our member had to undergo lengthy legal proceedings. However, he was ultimately cleared of all charges. Buckle up, because belts just got better. With Core Essentials, the perfect fit every time. With 40 plus sizing positions, styles for any situation. Whether in the boardroom, crushing sales and taking names. On your next adventure, in the great outdoors. Or when you're done for the day and ready to relax. Get your perfect fit with Core Essentials. Four easy steps to buying a gun. Step one, go to Liberty Tree Guns. Find your perfect gun from our wide selection of new and used firearms. Step two, call your significant other. Gain approval of your purchase. Step three, realize that you are a strong, confident individual. No one tells you what to do. Step four, check out, pay it all now, or 10% down with 90 days to pay using our Freedom Buyers Club. Buy and sell used and new guns, ammo and more. Liberty Tree Guns, across from Lowe's and Carthage, or visit us online at libertytreeguns.com.
The Gun Shop Show costs money to make, and The Gun Shop Show is brought to you by pecans and cheese. Not really. Actually, we didn't have any sponsors for this segment, and so I decided that I would take a snack break, and also, I decided if you guys are tired of listening to me eat cheese and nuts, that you need to buy an ad. So, from now on, if our ad sponsorships don't sell out, you're going to have to listen to me eat nuts and cheese. In order to sponsor the Gun Shop Show, send us an email at thegunshopshow at gmail.com. Next week, chips. Hey there, we got your lab results back. It looks like you have a fever and the only prescription is more gun shop show. The gun shop show, the gun shop show. What is it? We don't know. The gun shop show, the gun shop show. Here we go. It's the gun shop show. Welcome back to the Gun Shop Show. If you're watching on TV and you switched over to Facebook, I appreciate you joining us. Mm -hmm. You can see all of our beautiful faces and more of the show. Yeah. Also, if you want to get entered in to win two $50 Liberty Tree gift cards, that's not not just one. That is two. All you have to do is share the feed and tag five friends. It's pretty simple to do. I've done it five times since I've been standing there. Those friends you're tagging, make sure that they're into guns. Do that again, Logan. Do that again with the the flip. Do this. Ready? Oh. You can wait, have a sound. He's trying to help you with sound. Okay, effect. okay, wait. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah, that there it good. is. That's loving that. that. That's loving right. the sound effects there. Hey, I wanted to I wanted to ask you guys a question real quick. Okay, have you heard us. have you heard anything about this new polymer cased ammo? Uh, who's he what's it's the polys what's it instead of brass it's polymer it's mm. plastic i have not have mike have you heard it. anything about this? i have not heard seen m- heard i about know it. about it but i haven't it's, heard it's the new big thing uh trevor can much. you look it up real quick yeah uh, i'm uh, we're looking forward here let's see if i kind of want to get your guys's opinion on it i'm trying to uh so anyway uh mm-hmm. i'm trying to get this up here here we sure. go yeah is that it no. no. Just type in True Velocity and go to their website. I did go to True Velocity. No, I didn't. That no, didn't you take didn't me not. to it. Okay. No, so in the meantime, let's not. fill the air with words and stuff. So True Velocity was vying for a government contract, and their big, their big thing was that instead of using brass case, they're using polymer cased ammo. It's supposed to have a lot of benefits, but we've been using brass case for so long. Mm-hmm. Let's. Uh, is true- it going to replace? Is this it here? That's it. Yeah. Okay. So polymer. Uh, for those that are unfamiliar, I mean, this, this is the same stuff they're making guns out of, right? Yep. Yeah. So uh, not just plastic. Mm-hmm. There it is. It's 30% lighter than loaded brass. Surprised you didn't know that, Logan. Uh, Actually, with increased accuracy, that. reduced heat transfer, magnetic retrieval, and 100% recyclable. Surprised you didn't know that, Logan. Mm, I actually knew all of that. <laughs> it does look like, though, even though the, the case is polymer, that they're still mm-hmm. using maybe a steel primer. Oh, yeah, I see that down there at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which I think you would have to. I also like the idea that uh, ammunition manufacturers are going to be putting their logo on the side of the casing there. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they kind of already do that on the primer somewhat. Right, but it's real tiny. You got to look at the bottom it of is. it. This it is, is going to be on the side and big. <laughs> big letters. Real big. I just didn't know. Mike, how do you feel about that? You know, I don't know. I mean, I'm interested to see how it would, would function in... in you know, typical gun applications. I mean, I, I mm-hmm. love bio friendly stuff. Okay. That's great. Um, and, uh, it just seems like they're always looking for the newest and, and latest right. little, little tweak on things. I mean, it, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So you would have to show me that there are some advantages to this. Um, mm-hmm. cost wise would be great. Yeah. Um, you would think it should be cheaper. Maybe? Yeah. I, I mean, because you would anticipate plastic. that it could be. Now the biggest con I've heard so far is that, it's technically not user reloadable. Right. Like the specific practices yes. they use to make it require their machinery. So only they can reload it. Right. Well, at least so for if now. you're a loader, if you want to have a custom specific load for your rifle, you can't do it with this ammo. How many manufacturers are making this stuff that you know of? 
just true velocity. Okay, so that's probably why it's not reloadable at mm-hmm. this point is they're, because they have proprietary technology they're the on first. it. But somebody will come along and make it reloadable, I guarantee you, and I would almost guarantee that the price of this is going to be cheaper, at least the cost, because you don't have to mine this stuff. You don't have to yep. go out to the mines and bring this ore in and melt it down and so on and so forth. Yeah. You just make the plastic. Now, I don't we'll manufacture see. stuff, so I can't they, speak to that. I would just uh, assume plastic is cheaper for just, a reason. True Velocity just released their first um, first the the first string of ammo to mm-hmm. the consumer market. Well, let's let uh, let people know what what's that price at that ammunition. We don't know yet. Is the thing. Well, I mean, didn't you buy some? Yeah, I, yeah, I bought some. It was a collector's edition. Oh, okay. Kind of first to market. Here's what we're offering. Thing. So yeah. it's it's way overpriced. Yeah. Well, oh, overpriced. Of course. It's, I'm a, sure it it's is, a collector's yeah. item, so mm-hmm. overpriced. It's just. Yeah. But it, I'll get some of that in soon. I'll, I'll have it on the show. Thing. Exactly. I'll yeah. have it on the show. We can look at it. Mm-hmm. See what it's like. We should test it too. Yeah, and test it. But uh, but you're paying for that, right? Huh? You're paying for that ammo that I we're testing. Show. <laughs> no, but uh, I reached out to them and they said that they would have pricing soon. Yeah, on some of those, um, like also, twenty round, you know, smaller boxes. Ask them if they're interested in uh, maybe sponsoring the show. I could That'd be do pretty that. cool. That'd be I pretty cool too. If you got, no, we could only that. shoot true velocity ammo. I'd be all right with that. Polymer ammo only on as the gun shop show. I wonder if it's going to be usable for handguns. At some point, I'm sure. I don't yeah, know, these maybe. all look like long gun calibers from this picture. Yeah, if you, if you go up. If you scroll all the way to the top of that page the there, yeah, to the very tip top and click ca- calibers, very okay. tip Cal- calibers. calibers. Yeah, right. Uh, there's scroll down a little bit. Oh, that's a pretty cool. Picture. There you go. Oh, here we go. Well, yeah, let's show that. So this is what they got. 50 BMG, 338 Norma Mag, 762, 308 Win, 6.8. I don't know what TVCM. Never heard of that. 6.5 Creedmoor and 556. Five, uh, 6.8 is what the military is looking at to replace five, five, six. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, six SIG has a new rifle coming out in that interest for the, uh, military market, the MCX spear. Well, that's interesting stuff, man. Yeah. So, uh, Mike, Yo. what do we got? What do we, uh, what do we got? Uh, what do we got next, man? What are you holding yeah, on? Mike, that's uh, what are you holding on us. That looks like a there. pretty big machine gun. You got there. Speaking yeah. of the military, um, this is kind of, you know, we had an HK belt fed, you know, military gun and, you know, HK tried to get in the U S market, but of course, um, the military wants something that's easy to use. And of course they went to the M 16. So this is kind of an M 16 style belt fed gun. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. in the seventies, they started with the, uh, uh, Fabrique National, the FN company, made the M240, um, which was a 7.62 gun, again, just like the HK was. Um, it was cumbersome. It was a little big. It usually would take, uh, you know, a couple guys to, to operate it effectively. And uh, so the M60, the M240, those were really uh, guns that were, were not super conducive. And so they kept tweaking it and making it better. And they came out with the M249 which is a 5.56 gun, again, that's uh, easier for one guy to operate. You would just hold it, um, and the, the belt uh, would, would feed through this, again, a 100-round, 200-round belt, and make it good for some suppression fire. This happens to be an MK-46, which, again, is shorter, it's lighter, and it has these awesome rails on it, so you could add a laser sight, you could add an ACOG, which this has on it. Mm-hmm. Um, we even put a silencer on this bad boy. So this is all oh, tricked yeah. out with what you would see how much you, Navy SEAL run with or, or something like how that. How much do you think that weighs? This probably weighs, gosh, I would say 40 pounds, 50 pounds, somewhere in there. Wow. But unloaded. Unloaded, yeah. yeah. Loaded, it would be a little heavier. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, it, it's something, again, the military keeps tweaking and, and trying to do uh, good. This isn't, a, again, suppression fire is what you would use this for. But with the ACOG, with the laser sight, um, it, it becomes a lot more accurate. Mm-hmm. And uh, so these guns are sweet. I just sold uh, an M240, an FN M240, that came from the FN factory um, for 340000 
dollars. Whoa. So Matt, That's U.S. dollars? U- oh. <laughs> Canadian. Uh-huh. Um, but it's U.S. dollars. And remember when I said these are, are completely uh, eligible for, for legal ownership by United States citizens. Yep. Mm-hmm. But that's the caveat, right? That's the problem. They are very expensive. Now, that is an all-time record for Midwest Tactical. Mm-hmm. Um, that's so that's incredible. not every gun, but it's, it's, there's probably 10 to 12 registered 240s on the ATF registry. So again, mm-hmm. really, really rare. This, the one I sold was unfired as well. So mm-hmm. Ooh, that's awesome. So this is a post sample, which means that that uh, only gun dealers and military uh, personnel can could own this particular weapon. It was mm-hmm. post nineteen eighty six build, and uh, again, it, it's this is a U.S. made gun based on the the FN platform. Do you know so, what I don't understand? I mean, I understand it, but I don't understand it. What's the difference between owning a civilian owning a machine gun prior to eighty six? And after, so there, there's really no difference. Like, like as far as it's, it's, if you're going to do terrible things with this weapon, why does it matter if it was made prior or after? You know. Well, again, the the difference is that only if it's post 1986, only a dealer or the military or a police department can own a weapon that was made after 1986. So this one was made after 1986. Yeah, so only a dealer. Yeah. My and question was, why? What's their reasoning for stopping it at 86? Well, again, it was the Brady Bill. You remember uh, Brady? No, for sure. Marsh, Marsha Brady? N- no, <laughs> no. No. I'm just kidding. No, but, but <laughs> why does it matter? If you can still own a machine gun, why does it matter, the bill aside, when it was manufactured? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's a it's a good question, but it's it's one that just you know we operate in you know, because, because of the laws. That I machine mean, gun down there, that HK, is going to do the same thing that that exactly. Uh, yeah, that is exactly. Mm. They just want to restrict the the amount of citizens mm-hmm. that can have access to these. That that's it. And yeah. like I said back in the day, you could go into. Have, have you seen that movie with Kevin Costner and and Woody Harrelson uh, about the guys that? Um, Gosh, what's it called? It's on Netflix. Uh, Highwaymen. The Highwaymen, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a, a good true movie. story. It's a but, good movie. But there's a great scene in there when Kevin Costner goes into a hardware store mm-hmm. and he, he buys a Colt, you know, BAR mm-hmm. machine gun and Thompson and, you know, he loads up on stuff. And that's yeah. the way it used to be. And yeah. and so post-1986, it's just not that way it's just, any longer. It's just strange. Which was essentially he was loading himself up on the firearms that his... Uh, uh, the people he was seeking were shooting. Yeah. Exactly. They were finding these guns and they bought exactly. them all up so they could uh, handle them with similar firepower. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So this is a cool gun. I mean, it, it, again, this is what the military uses. They're, the rumor is they're looking to upgrade out of the M249, MK46 platform in mm-hmm. 2025 yeah. going to something something else. So we can, there's always we can talk about that in the next segment. I think SIG has a couple options for that. They do. Maybe one. They have, yeah, they have an option. For sure, we'll talk about that in the, in the next segment. For sure. Cool. Stay with us. We're going to talk some more about those wonderful machine guns when Yay. we get right back on Trevor. The Machine Gun Shop Show. There you go. It was Shotgun Shop Show last week. Hey, podcast listeners and live stream viewers. I wanted to let you know that the Gun Shop Show is made possible by our friends at MidAmerica RV. Being in the customer service industry, I have a really high standard for how customers are treated. MidAmerica RV does it right. I've got my RV through their dealership, and I've taken it all over the country. Uh, we made it to South Padre Island. We've gone to Colorado several times. And if you've ever owned an RV, you know there's a lot that comes with it. So who you get it from matters and it's extremely important that you have support after the sale Uh, they're located just outside of Carthage they have a really vast inventory and they are home of I believe they call it a forever warranty so I urge you if you're in the market for one to check them out Uh, it's a really fun and can be very affordable way to get your trips in so visit them at midamericarv.com we appreciate their support of the gun shop show if you're in the market for a travel trailer or fifth wheel check out midamerica rv Oh, oh, talk about it. 
what? Yeah, 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 here we go. 44,000 business cards. I said 44,000 business cards. I said 44,000 business cards. I said 44, I mean, four, I mean, crap. 44,000. Hey everybody, Eli here, and I'm really excited to tell you that the Gun Shop Show is brought to you by one of my favorite places on earth. Located here in my hometown of Carthage on the beautiful historic square, the Emporium on the square, and the Woodshed. It's a art gallery, an event center, a gift shop, they have art classes, and there's very unique Americana artwork from famous artists like Andy Thomas. They handle a lot of his original framing. Just has this incredible old school vibe and you can feel the history coming through have to check out the art gallery but then as you work your way to the back my favorite part the woodshed had a lot of great meals in here they've got burgers i love their catfish excellent chicken and waffles even it's incredible and it's also a music venue so we got to see my favorite band of all time the ben miller band ceiling was literally raining down they were rocking so hard but the best thing owned by one of my favorite people on earth that's cherry babcock check out the emporium on the square and the woodshed Listen here, Pilgrim. This here is the Gun Shop Show. Logan knows all. Nope. Welcome back to the Gun Shop Show. We're giving away these two Liberty Tree gift cards. All you have to do is share the feed and talk reference. That's so <gasps> easy. It's now simple. on to six. Let's talk about that six. By the time I said share the feed tag five friends, you could have already done it mm-hmm. and be, be a winner. You honestly. probably could have done it five times with the explanation. It's probably true. <laughs> and with the second explanation. Mm-hmm. And times. this continued discussion about it. But right before the break, we were talking about machine guns. In mm-hmm. particular, they're trying to replace the machine gun or mm-hmm. looking for a new replacement for their machine guns. Yeah. Is that correct? And who are they? That's correct. That who is the they? military. Okay. The U.S. military. Mm-hmm. Which makes more sense. Which makes a lot more mm-hmm. sense. Um, and we mentioned one in particular by SIG. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure exactly which, what it's called. I don't well, remember. I could probably look it up. I know their, their AR replacement is called the MCX Spear. But I don't remember what the machine is The gun gun's of called. the future. Is it the MG338 Heavy? Maybe. Let's see. Let's. I'll show you a picture. Show me a picture and I'll tell you if is we're that, right. Is that, that looks like it. Okay. Well, then let's just talk like about it. that anyway. Sure. Because it's a there gun it and this is the gun shop show. The gun of the future. Meet the six hour MG338 heavy machine gun. Transition. As the United States military transitions from counter insurgery, insurgency preparedness to a focus on near peer Rivals, the rather large and admittedly powerful MG338 may be out of place. Oh, 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 mm-hmm. I don't know what that means, dude. Uh, you, yeah, go back. You go. interpret that better than I do. I have no idea. I, I don't think it was called the MG338 heavy machine gun. Mm. Okay. Go back. I read the words. Yeah, go back. Go if, back. If it's for the military and it says heavy machine gun, I don't think they're going to be interested. Mm. No, no, no. Here... They, what I know about the new machine gun that SIG has is it was like 11 to 12 pounds. Yeah. We're that was tra- it. They want light. Yeah, for sure. So, light, Trevor, light, light. go back, type in SIG military machine gun. Okay. Actually, it was the, it's that one, that article right there. Yep. This one? Yep. Right here. You All right. There we go. That's what we're looking for. On the left there is the MCX Spear, and the right is whatever they're calling that, that new rifle. Mm-hmm. So that's the machine gun replacement on the right there. I'll scroll down. Let's see if they have a name. I feel like I should know this. I've looked at this article several times. I love being prepared. Me too. For Me too. Radio slash Facebook. Right. Yeah. I mean, people would think that we're professionals, and we totally are. We're totally professionals. Super. Pro- do you, do you uh, have a name there? For I don't see. Uh, Lightweight machine gun. Is yeah. That what it says? We could probably be more prepared for this topic. For sure. Yeah. So for sure. The, scr- the words are tiny. It, so, so the the biggest thing that we're looking at is the military is looking for a machine gun that is significantly lighter than everything else they're using. Well, I mean, right here it says so six hour lightweight machine gun. You said that weighs about forty to fifty pounds. Yeah, yeah. Six hour designed the NGSW AR to be forty percent lighter than current mm-hmm. subs to current systems and d- dramatically reduce forty percent, like half the weight almost. That'd yeah. be amazing. Yeah. yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. So. uh I'm going to go ahead and create one that's going to be 41% lighter. And, and listen, oh, sweet. honestly, how much mm-hmm. more damage could John Rambo had done 
than he did with his M60 with one hand. If he could have, you know, he, he could have been lighting things on fire and shooting. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He could have been. He could have ran a marathon. Mm-hmm. He could have been eating a sandwich mm-hmm. and shooting uh-huh. with yeah. the 11 to 12 pounds. That really is I, the dream. You know, yeah, gun. I mean, as, as one sandwich lover to another, John yes. Rambo, I too want to be firing full auto with one hand and eating a sandwich it, in the mm-hmm. other. Uh, uh, not just any sandwich. Uh, in this instance, a po' boy. He mm-hmm. would have he would have gotten that town and that mm. cop, that small town cop yeah. who just had a chip on his shoulder. Right. Again, yeah. Real yeah. grudge vets, real grudge, the which things. is a weird thing to have a chip on your shoulder about. Yeah. About vets. vets. Yeah. yeah. It seems like the one thing you would not have. A but chip well, on. that's but I guess because after Vietnam, it was like that. It right. was. It oh was. yeah. Total chips on the shoulder. Yeah. Lots, also something, a little sub chips. story in that, that guy's father, uh, he abused him and he was to a veteran. So gotcha. they don't talk about so that the connection. In the story. Yeah. Boop. Brings it all together. That's in the prequel. Also, he had incredible biceps and, you know, so when he saw John Rambo, he's having flashbacks. Yep. Yeah. So, and not many people know gotcha. that about that. No, movie. no. I didn't know that. But I'm glad you brought up the sandwich thing, Mike. It's good to know. It's good to know. Always work our way back to food. Yeah. Speaking of sandwiches, Mike, tell us a little bit about how you became the operations manager of Midwest Tactical. Well, Mm -hmm. you know, I've always loved guns, and I was actually a youth (laughs) pastor. I was in youth ministry. Right. And, uh, and, um, uh, my ex-wife, uh, Jennifer, who were really, really close and co-parenting our, our two beautiful kids, um, you know, told me that, that she trained uh, somebody that, that, you know, worked at this company. They were looking for a manager, and she yeah. suggested me, and I interviewed and, and uh, got the job nice. and love it. I'm the luckiest guy. It's like a kid in a candy store. Right. Uh, I get a shoot. We get to blow stuff up. We get to work with great uh, gun companies like yours mm-hmm. uh, and, the, and the gun shop show. I mean... I love what I get to do. I get to be around all this history. I get to talk to some of the most amazing gun owners in in all the land. We get to go uh, meet so many people mm-hmm. at, at uh, like uh, you know Shot Show in Vegas every year. I mean, it's just a, a great great job to have. I'm I'm so lucky, and we're we're developing and building and coming up with new pros, uh, projects. And it's not just to make money. It's not just to do things like that, but it's to support the 2A community. Right. We, we want to preserve the memory and the collectability of these awesome guns, but we also do tactical training videos. We also mm-hmm. do gun safety videos, new product reviews, so many different things we do because we want to support the 2A community right. and make sure that it's it's going to keep uh, going strong because, again, um, you know, the First Amendment hugely important second Mm -hmm. amendment hugely important and they're both under attack so we've got to support both of those uh, Mm -hmm. now more than ever for sure i would say those two things are probably the most fundamental things to liberty completely Mm -hmm. and that's why they're one and two right um you know so important and uh man there's there's one uh, group of people right now that don't like those liberties that we have and they want to see them both go away and the i i guess i really didn't think in my lifetime i would see such an aggressive pursuit of the eradication of the first and second amendment but um it's under attack like i said i didn't i thought my kids might have to face that battle one day mm-hmm. i didn't know if mm-hmm. i would but here we are smack dab in the middle of it well i don't know if you remember the 90s and censorship but it's been going on for quite some time i think it will be a perpetual battle it will. that will wage on forever if somebody will want to take control of the masses and therefore we're going to continue to fight that battle yep. and i would rather continue to fight that battle than that battle end where they person who wants to take you under control wins because that's ultimately what will happen so yeah uh, it's strange to think that the battle should wage on uh but hey man we've been peaceful at least since civil war right Mm -hmm. yep overall and and i love um you know where we stand Uh, we've got uh firepower Mm -hmm. um we've got uh gun knowledge and guns and ammo um so i guess if they want to if they want to fight that battle they need to think twice i would think Right. Well, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. Right. Whenever they want to come. Would, would would they fight that battle with guns? Well, <laughs> seven million new gun owners, with the majority <laughs> of them would. being yeah, uh, they would. Yeah, identified yeah, they as would. Democrats. I don't think you're going to be alone on that front. Right? Yeah. You know, yeah. they are fighting a battle within their own party right now to try to. That, yeah, uh, that must be so frustrating. Minimalize uh, the uh, run on Second Amendment rights. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
Exactly. So, I mean, we, we want to bring all those people in and, and create a, a coalition around our second amendment rights. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. And we're in good hands. I yeah. love that. Yeah. I mean, it, ignorance is what's driving the, the, uh, desire to, to, uh, uh For sure. take away our second amendment rights. And fear. Someone who's yeah. never even touched a gun is like, you shouldn't have that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And not just that many other things, On including the gun, shop, the gun show. show. Let's go ahead and do this. People are always asking me, Eli, you seem to get the best deals on things. What is your secret? Old really... glory actions and estate sales. Trevor, I appreciate you jingling, but I have to say the ad part first um, uh-huh. because people need to know oh. about the company. Oh, I thought you wanted me to do And that. then also it's okay. the whole, it's covering up my yeah. face. So right. Again, um, just, okay, just get together. a picture like from their okay. Facebook page because yeah, that's the best got one here. place. And then just put it right up here where the Gun Shop Show logo okay. is. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll do better this and time. Then, uh, and so let me finish the ad and then you can jingle, okay? Okay. All right. So uh, the best place to go is their Facebook page. Oh, glory actions and estate sales. You know what? Fine. I'll just move in between the graphics and finish telling people that the best place to find out when old, old glory old actions and estate sales i think i got it that time man land is everything to me uh, when i was born i was brought home to the family farm uh, was raised learned work ethic there learned uh, appreciation and respect for life and the land itself and it just became second nature. I had to be there all the time. Whenever I wasn't on the land, I was not happy. But I learned to understand the land, learned to respect it, you know, learned family values. You know, my wife and I have bought a farm uh, besides the one we live on and uh, it has just been a, it's been a great investment and it's been some place that my son and I have shared the passion of hunting together and you know it's just it like uh, you know land has been you know land has been everything in my life it, it has kind of kept, kept me focused and, and uh, gave me a place to be it's kind of kept me grounded hey you know what makes this the gun shop show possible it's people who believe in the show and someone who has believed in the show from the very beginning is my good friend Chris Chapman, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. Here's a message from Chris. Guys, uh, my name is Chris Chapman, uh, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply, and uh, I just want to take a few seconds here to let you know that we are going to be uh, proud sponsors of the Gun Shop Show, and uh, we, we appreciate everything that them guys are doing over there, and we just want to show them our support. Thank you. So whether you have two chickens or 2,000 acres, Chris is your man. Give him a call. I guess that's pretty much the ad. Whitehead Farm Supply. Seriously? Always. I'm Lulu, and I watch the gun shop show because all the fellers are handsome. Welcome back to the gun shop show. We were talking machine guns, specifically those machine guns over there on mic. Nah, mm-hmm. Oh, are you talking about his arms? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm telling you, they're firing on all cylinders today. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> Jerry, he's not. Back there. He's not the only one here with guns on him. Oh snap! You mm-hmm. have machine guns too. I can't show them off right now, man. It's a family-friendly show. <laughs> Family oh. show. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so let's talk about some of those features of that machine gun there. Well, this one, again, it's it's an MK46. So this is the latest uh, modifications to uh, what the military uses. And it's got all these Picatinny rails on it. It's got these rails where you could, um, you could take this laser sight. You could actually move it to the side if you wanted. Mm-hmm. You could move it to the bottom. It's got all these uh, different applications for different scopes. We've got a beautiful ACOG. Do you guys ever use any ACOG sights? I've used, I've used them a couple times. Super cool. Mm-hmm. Super, super cool. The One of the top of the line ones there. So, you know, it's lighter uh, for, for the guys to handle. Mm-hmm. It's got all these different things where mm-hmm. you can uh, definitely customize it to what the individual uh, soldier uh, likes uh, to use this on. And, and uh, 
you know, it, it they gave it to the ability where it could be in one soldier's hands. It didn't mm-hmm. take multiples. And so this gun is able to function like that. And they're a lot of fun. They're, they're um, you know, there's a reason the military likes these. Yeah. Again, it's going to lay down a lot of uh, rounds at one time. What's the fire rate? Do you know? Um, I, I can't remember what the fire rate is on these, but um, with the lighter weight, it does, uh, it does increase the amount of rounds and I'm sure Mr. Trevor with the compute, the 12 computers over there. Oh, and can look up. And what I, looking up? I was sorry. I was looking something else up when you were talking about that rate. Your stocks are doing fine, bro. Um, <laughs> the, the rate of fire on an M249 and does that M249 saw mm-hmm. does that suppressor increase the rate of fire? 600 RPM. It, it does a little it, bit. It should it it will. increase that yep. bolt, bolt carrier velocity. Exactly. It sure will. What was it again, Trevor? 600 rounds per minute. Rounds oh, per wait, wait, wait. That, sorry. That's coming from counterstrike.fandom.com. Let's not look at that one. <laughs> yes. That's yeah. a video let's game, look, which yeah. I would hope they would try to make it as real as possible. You would think, but who knows? Uh, let's see. Maximum rate of fire, 800 rounds per minute. This is coming from military.com. That seems uh, more reputable to you guys. That, that's that does seem reputable. better. Okay. Yeah. And well, you know, you know, to be honest with you, the M two forty nine. I think one of the reasons the military is looking to trade these out, and I've actually talked to a couple of vets that have handled these guns, but mm-hmm. um, they really don't get good marks um, by the military. It's right. kind of a necessary thing, but um, they they interview the guys that use these, and mm-hmm. they they have really struggled with. Uh, still, the weight is an issue. Right. Um, accuracy is an issue, and reliability. Listen, belt fed guns are finicky at best. And mm-hmm. a lot of guys that, that would fight with these would always complain that, that the, um, the bullets would stop going through. There was a jam. There was an issue. Um, if you watch Rambo when he's shooting that M60, he's got the, um, the rounds around his other arm. Mm-hmm. And he's, I think he's left-handed, right? So he had it around his, his right arm and trying to keep that steady flow. But if you're using this, you know, with two hands, you know, the, the ammo would, would, you know, dangle. And sometimes that makes it hard. So it's kind of cool yeah. that Rambo was holding it, um, you know, on oh, a, that a figuring? parallel yeah, level mm. for that. Yeah. So, so they're finicky. They're, they're mm-hmm. hard. They always need tweaking. They're, there are always mm-hmm. some mess ups and that's why yeah. magazine fed uh, guns are, are to be, um, preferred, but again, you're not going to get the amount of rounds through through a, a, a magazine fed gun. What's, so that's why belt feds are necessary. Yeah. What's the cap- capacity of that saw? The capa- the capacity, round. Yeah. Um, again, there there's different kinds of belts. There's there's uh, like as far as what's equipped on it right now. Well, in in this application, be a hundred rounds could fit okay. in this canister here. Yeah, but then you could also fire it without, and you could have mm-hmm. one hundred to two hundred round belts are typical with these. And links. gotcha, and at eight hundred rounds a minute, you're out of ammo before you know it. <laughs> you're, you're out of ammo. Yeah, yeah, and it, it holds a hundred. Hold this holds a hundred, one hundred to two hundred, depending yeah. on how you're. Oh, okay, feeding exactly. It. Yeah, you'd and, be out in virtually seconds. And it's easy. You just pop the top off here, and, and you just put the links, uh, you know, the disag- disintegrating links are what's really good in here. And it's just better than cloth belts. You can just put those in, and they lay in the tray on here in a good way, and you just clamp that down, and you're off and running again. Uh, so it's easy to change those out. Mike, would you mind quick. picking up that camera and kind of showing off that, yeah, that, that that's what you're over. talking about there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so in the top right spot there. there. Yep. And you've got the you know collapsible buttstock there, that which is really can, nice. You can easier adjustable length yeah. of pull. You see, it's tricked oh, what, out. What kind of laser is that? That is a is it a D ball? It looks like a D ball. Yeah, it's a D ball. Okay. Now, what we've been firing a lot of suppressors around mm-hmm. here, uh, primarily with twenty twos, and I don't expect even a little bit that that thing's going to suppress it anywhere near what the twenty two does. But no, not even close. How much? Uh, noise dampening does it actually provide you know it provides more than you would think but it, it's still a loud gun but uh-huh. uh, but like logan was saying it, it helps in two areas it helps in you know velocity of the round but it also helps uh with accuracy and yeah. so that's kind of more oh, okay. of the reason why you're using that um, i get you for sure so you can think of it trevor as um it's it's kind of like a faux barrel yeah. barrel length. You get additional get you. barrel length, additional velocity from your your cartridge, mm-hmm. and they usually it makes guns more accurate. So it's like a power up. 
Exactly. A little bit of a power up. Oh, Honestly, sorry, they're all pros for why you should shoot with the suppressor. Yeah. Yeah. As long as it's not adding additional stress to your system, which is possible with certain suppressors. But it, it wouldn't take long to, you know, to blow out that suppressor. <laughs> no. We, we would imagine. I mean, it, it's not like that thing would last, you know, thousands and thousands of rounds probably. So right. especially um, if you're just shooting repetitively as fast as possible. Exactly. You'd probably just melt through it. Exactly. But it is helpful. So, Mike, did you have any experience with firearms or even specifically uh, fully auto machine guns before you uh, had uh, interviewed for your position? Zero. I mean, I loved guns and loved machine guns, but um, uh, like so many people, I was just ignorant on on what could be owned out there and and Mm -hmm. how how it all worked. And so, um, man, the education I've got, I've even had the opportunity to um, go to Washington, D.C. and meet with ATF mm-hmm. um, uh, specifically because Midwest Tactical is the number one class three transferable machine gun dealer in the in the country. And so, you know, ATF wanted to get together and talk about how they could work hand in hand with bigger companies to make the process good because yeah. we had a lot of experience with that. And um, and believe it or not, that was when Obama was, was still president mm-hmm. that that meeting occurred. And it uh, just blew me away. They were super nice, super yeah. personable. Um, yeah, you know, they give you their business card, say, if we needed anything, reach out to them. And they've been there for us. So, um, you know, ATF gets a lot of, of bad raps. And yeah. I understand the reasoning there. But I've met uh, the higher ups uh, in person, and they're just regular dudes like us. Totally. Um, mm-hmm. um, they, they lean different ways, but they really do want to help gun companies uh, work better. A lot of red tape, a lot of lot of empty promises. In in a lot of ways, we're still waiting on things they right. said they were working on five six years ago. For instance, if I bought this gun from an individual who already owns it, went through the background check months or years prior, and I, a known federal firearms licensee holder, a mm-hmm. known government entity, wanted to get that gun, it takes four to five months right now for that paperwork to go wow. through. Wow. But they've been talking about making it an e-file situation. Feels like yeah. it should be, right? Well, it should be. It's the easiest transfer. You've got a known person with it. What do you have to background check? He's already right. got the gun, and it's coming to a federal firearms licensee holder that's in good standing with the ATF. Why can't mm-hmm. that be e-filed? And so yeah. they they've been talking about that for five six years. It just doesn't happen. Yeah, I don't know why, but they could make themselves so much more efficient. For instance, if if I had an estate deal that had twelve guns. Uh, with it, with all the will and the documentation, they separate that with different examiners at ATF and things get lost and convoluted. Just keep it all together. Yeah, right. There's so many things that we've suggested they do that just don't get improved on, but what can you do? Well, I, right. ultimately, it's a matter of time before it will. It just takes a long time with the government. Uh, yes. You know, I think uh, ta- filing your taxes is a perfect example. It mm-hmm. took way too long to be able to do that stuff. Still, you can't just go to the IRS's website and fill out your tax stuff. I'm you got to go through some other entity. I'm still waiting on my refund, by the way. Oh, you know what? I, I think I am, too. I have my refund yet oh what's the God. deal On i don't know the gun shop show we all know that you are more than within your right to shoot an intruder that is in your home However, what if you do everything right and once the smoke clears, the situation is not quite as it seemed? Well, that is exactly what happened to fellow member Isabella in this story. So I just put my house in the market because I wasn't living in a good neighborhood and my home had been broken into before. One night, my realtor called and asked to show my home at 6.30. I thought, yeah, this is perfect. I'll go to the gym. When I got home around 8.15, I set the alarm and jumped in the shower. About five minutes later, the alarm went off. I rushed out of the shower to grab my gun. As I turned the corner, a man was standing near my front door in all black. I repeatedly yelled at him, leave or I'll shoot. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw someone else dart in front of him. He turned towards me, so I shot. Suddenly, I realized the second person was my realtor. 
The truth is, you never know how events will unfold. Isabella was not criminally charged, but shortly after she faced a civil lawsuit. With the help of U.S. Law Shield, Isabella was advised through the whole legal process and paid zero attorney's fees. Remember, criminals never take a vacation. Be armed, stay educated, and get protected with U.S. Law Shield. The Gun Shop Show, brought to you by Little Old Ladies. They're little. Welcome back to the Gun Shop Show. Oh, thank you. A lawyer we what appreciate you, it. What you doing over there? Oh, I was just thanking you for welcoming me back to the Gun okay, Shop cool. Show. Mm -hmm. We need to announce the winner. That's right. From last week's yeah. giveaway. Yeah, which we should was do that. a one hundred dollar Liberty Tree gift card. Yeah, which this week we're doing two fifty dollar gift. This cards. week we're doing two of these bad boys. They're fifty dollars a piece. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is share the feed, tag five friends. But without further ado, the winner of last week's giveaway for a one hundred dollar Liberty Tree gift card. Drum roll. Yep. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Is, let me see the name. Okay, cool. Chris Allen. Yeah. Congratulations, Chris. Nice, Chris. Thanks, this Chris. Is yours. Thanks Just for reach sharing, out Chris. To us and we'll get that to you. If, if you're not local, hit us up on Facebook. I'll get you a go for that. The, the crowd goes wild. Yeah. That's the that's the applause. The crowd remix. Real wild. Hitting that remix. That's like something from the Matrix or something. Well, hey Mike, I don't want to get out of here uh without talking to you a little bit about your other uh I don't know adventure. Let's call it a venture. Your venture. other venture. Yeah. What's that? Um that uh Midwest Tactical is uh I guess the primary backer of, supporter of. It's your guys' stuff. The only backer of. So what we've done is, you know, mm -hmm. like you guys and like so many other uh, gun companies, you know, mm -hmm. you want to sell outside your, your storefront. And so you want to sell uh, nationally and uh, you have to go sure, to sure. a lot of auction websites mm -hmm. or gun, gun selling um, platforms. And we did that and we, we were just frustrated. We were frustrated with no communication, lack of security on the sites. We were frustrated mm -hmm. with high fees companies nickel and diming you and so um we decided to because we're in the class three mm -hmm. machine gun business mm -hmm. to have a class three machine gun listing site right and then we thought why are we stopping with just class three stuff let's right. just throw any kind of gun on there and that's where gunspot.com was born uh, we're about a couple years into the site it's going really really well we're really excited about it liberty tree is a part of it um and we're Heck just yeah, excited we to uh again we want to support uh gun owners out there individuals and businesses and so what you get with gunspot are low fees you get um, easy to use, modern platform, high security. There's no spam on this site. Spam is a regular part of the gun listing sites out there. You don't have it on here. We have high security on there. Um, we have, uh, you can instantly chat with one of us on the site. You can email us, you can call us. So there's great customer support. And we have also Gunspot Academy. So we've mm -hmm. got a, a video platform where again, we do gun reviews. We talk things like politics. We had Ben Baker, who's a state representative who lives down in Neosho on the show. Uh, uh, we did a little podcast with him talking about uh, gun laws and, and what we need to be looking out for as citizens and things like that. So we do a lot with uh, video stuff, training, tactical training tips from handguns to rifles. Uh, get really practical on that. And the Gun Shop Show is on Gunspot Academy. I, apparently, we're some of your top posts on Look your own page there. there. All yeah. the time. So we love, uh, you know, showing you guys out there. So gunspot.com is a lot of things you can buy and sell. We've got no reserve auctions going on there. So if you're looking for a great price on a handgun or a rifle, check it out. Um, they end every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Um, and so tonight at 8 p.m., some no reserve auctions are going on. And all you have to do is create a free account and go on there and auction. And you will find some really cool features in the auction um, platform, things that you will not see anywhere but on Gunspot. Com. So well, that's we're really exciting. excited. That yeah. Is exciting. Yeah. yeah. So for, uh, I don't know how many 
gun sellers we have listening to this show, but appealing to them, low uh, monthly fees. Uh, like, what kind of daily uh, user uh, rate are you guys getting? Um, you know, I, I'm not sure the numbers of that, but we've got we've got about twelve thousand users on the site right now. Mm-hmm. But um, we've got sponsorships from um, you know Springfield Armory, mm-hmm. uh, Alien Gear, um, you know different companies like that that yeah. uh, that are seeing the value with our site with the traction that we get. Heck yeah. Um, on YouTube, we've got uh, you know you know twelve thousand uh, followers on our YouTube channel, mm-hmm. so it's growing. Um, we we are not even quite ready to release all the bells and whistles on it. So some amazing hey everyone, changes Dylan- are coming, and uh, mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. So you know we're real excited. Um, you know the viewership, the you know the people that are coming to the site every single day just is growing and growing and growing every day. So um, we're excited. Again, again, if you want a good deal on a gun, you can come to Liberty Tree or you can go to Gunspot and 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 try your ha- hand on one of these no reserve auctions. Um, you know, we're giving great deals away every single day. Plus, Gunspot does giveaways a lot of times, yeah. just like you guys do yeah. and, and different fun things like that. For sure. Heck yeah, man. Well, uh, for the user, you kind of answer those questions about, you know, having access to let's say thousands. I mean, you have 10,000 listings on there yet? Oh yeah. thousand. Oh, easy. Okay. So easy. plenty of inventory to, to look at search, different pricing, et cetera. So a great mm-hmm. place for users, great place for sellers and absolutely you know, we want to create a, a better community. But something I want to speak to is the quality of your content creation. You guys are creating great content, like top level. I mean, I, I don't want to talk bad about our show, but I would have to say that your guys' content quality blows us out of the water. Let me let me put it this way. If mm-hmm. we had Logan in the videos, mm-hmm. it would be no contest. Right. Because mm-hmm. we're- because the sexiness level, true, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Logan, he knows. Logan's he like, knows. uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but uh, oh, oh. Dylan's our creative director. So what you're saying is that amazing. we need to uh, collab. Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. We should do more collaboration. I, I mean, I've invited you over to shoot machine guns how many times, Logan? And you don't come. Uh, it's always Trevor. It's always you're, Eli. You're calling me at like anyway, 2.30 so in the morning. Uh, yeah. but uh, that's just weird, though. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and you don't return my calls. Yeah. That is they strange. go un- unanswered. I, just, so, I forget. I'm sorry. So well, we need to collab. Right. But Dylan's we our should. creative director. He's one of the best in the biz. Um, he does such a great job. Not only mm-hmm. does he do a great job with video production, but he loves guns. He is a gun aficionado. Yeah. And uh, so he brings all that passion into to mm-hmm. his his awesome production that he does. So yeah, it's all done really so excited. well. I'm I'm always been really impressed with the quality of your guys' content. As we are yours. Well, I appreciate that, man. Absolutely. You guys do great. uh, We try to just have fun. That's the most important thing is have fun. Everything else just, it falls into place. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I agree. But yeah, we, as uh, Mike mentioned, you can find the Gun Shop Show on Gunspot's Academy site, as Mm -hmm. well as all of, I believe, any of the content that you would find on Gunspot too, right? Exactly. It's all on there. Heck yeah. It's, uh, I understand why you guys split that stuff up. But uh, at least, I mean, you're probably pointing to Gunspot as much as you can, right? We are. Yeah. Yeah. They go together. And again, mm-hmm. you know, we don't just want to be something that that we value from, you know, that we, you know, profit from. We want to give back. We love the 2 way community. And, you know, we're not there to take advantage of everybody. We're there to make some money off the site, which mm-hmm. I think will happen naturally. But we're mm-hmm. there. Um, you know, FFLs were struggling a mm-hmm. lot under Trump, of, you know, prior Big to... Time prior to the uh, the covid run and um so they were having to pay a lot of fees with these other sites Mm -hmm. and these other sites don't care about you they don't talk to you they don't have a presence no if you have a problem and you reach out to their customer service they never reply to you never i'm pretty sure one time i reached out to your customer service and you're like i'll just call you trevor yeah you called me i'm pretty sure that's what Mm -hmm. i know i was talking to mike winkle exactly that's how customer service centric that you are exactly it's the same way here if you reach out to us there's a good chance that you know logan is going to be helping you yeah exactly i'm going to be helping you yep. because you know like we're not just a part of what makes it 
awesome. Like for sure. We also work here and we yep. want to make and the experience better. For exactly. whatever reason, if if I miss your call or one of the guys misses your call, I will show up personally at your house to help you at out. At two thirty in the morning. With mm-hmm. whatever you want. Whatever yeah. you need. And mm-hmm. it, we learned it, it from Mike. And sometimes it's sushi. <laughs> it's sushi advice. Uh-huh. I mean, it doesn't even have to be relegated to the no, gun industry. No, no. If you're I, like, hey, Logan, what should I invest in? Invest my money in. I'll help you out. Yeah. How about, I'm going to throw this out there. Sure. Machine gun sushi. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what that means. That means shoot sushi coming at you 800 RPMs, bro. That's too that's Can you too take fast. that much sushi? No. <laughs> you can't? Maybe, can't maybe, sushi? maybe like 200 RPM. Well, I still like the idea of machine gun sushi, though. Yeah. That could be a thing. Mm-hmm. It could be the next thing. Oh, it will be. Okay. But you guys, be. you guys, it's important. You know, in the mm-hmm. day and age, it's, it's not just about taking from the customer. It's providing yeah, it provides incredible value. value for them. And that's Great what experience. you guys do here at Liberty Tree. Um, we appreciate me that. and the boys shop here all the time. We, we love you guys. That. And same, same with what we do. We want to have a presence. And for sure, you know, we have people that call us just asking us gun questions. Sometimes mm-hmm. they don't buy from us at all. And yeah. we're, we're cool with that. We right. love guiding them and directing them and, I and mean, informing them. Here's the thing. We're, we're customers too. You know, we love firearms. Exactly. We're customers too. So we, right. un- we understand what the customer goes through. Exactly. And we just want to treat you guys and Mike and his crew want to treat mm-hmm. you guys just like we want to be treated. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the goal. Right. Rule. Exactly. Man. Exactly. I, and and the two, a community is family. It's not just for friends. Sure. I mean, I have some friendships that I've developed through the two, a community that, uh, are some of my most treasured friendships. And thank you. Um, you know, I wasn't talking about you. Get a little oh. bit emotional. <laughs> you guys, you guys are on that list, absolutely, yeah, for sure. And and we all have this common interest and this mm-hmm. common love of this freedom. But then it extends to more to that, and and we become brothers. I love it and family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, super absolutely, special, man. Super cool. It's a great community to be a part of, and yeah. I very rare. I don't even know that I can even think of a time where someone was just well. I don't know. Comments on YouTube videos can can get to you a little bit. But <laughs> yeah. yeah. Overall, you know, Sometimes. like the sunglasses are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it's bright in here yeah. it is legitimately mm-hmm. bright in here a little bit yeah uh, you know also uh yeah i'm just weird but hey mike we're almost done tell these beautiful folks where they can find you and find out more about your stuff well you can go to gunspot.com and do some shopping there but you can also find a midwest tactical at atf machine gun Dot com and you can see all of our good stuff over there. Excellent, man. Perfect, I'll put those in the perfect. show notes for anybody who wants it. And uh, sounds good, Mike. Mike, thank you so for much for joining us for coming you, over. It's been wonderful. Love talking machine guns. Always, it's man. been great. Hey, if it's you ever get anything awesome, bring it on, and we'll show it off on Absolutely. sure the Anytime. gun shop show. Bye. See ya. See ya. I love you. So we're just going to pretty much chill for a little bit. Pretty much just chill. Talk about whatever. Let me ask you a question, Mike. If I brought you sushi and was like, this is sushi with pizza filling inside, how would you feel all day long? Okay. See, like, I'm thinking, like, dipping it in marinara a little bit, too, or maybe. garlic butter. Ooh. Oh, garlic butter. You just made it on the team sushi. <laughs> I will be it. It's uh, going to be an experimental thing. That's for sure. I haven't even made sushi yet. I got the equipment, but I haven't you made sushi You need to make yet. sushi first. I did. Yeah. My guys will sushi test periods. it out.